know if you were watching last night of the proms on Saturday. Uh, I watched the last hour. I couldn't bear it. Uh, my partner had to leave the room uh, to see so, quite so many uh, EU flags being waved, and we know it was all a stunt. Don't panic. Unfortunately, those Europhiles at last night of the proms waving their EU flags didn't get the memo, did they? Don't panic. Land of hope and glory. And um, apparently, uh, last night the proms has been taken over by Euromania. I was rather like you. I had to leave the room. Um, but the best thing we can do, frankly, ignore is to ignore them. as much yeah. as possible. They, they, they don't like it up on Mr. Speaker. No, they don't like it up them because Nigel is a hypocrite as per the norm. It's okay for him to do really, really inappropriate stuff like flag waving inside the EU and rubbing it right in the face of the EU for the UK leaving. But when it comes to the proms, they seem to have a bit of a meltdown. But it was blooming rude, I thought, the whole thing. Rude, insulting, inappropriate, but I'm afraid we do have this small group of people. And of course, Nigel is so out of touch, he probably should be panicking. 86% of youth want to rejoin the EU. It's even being shown in a right-wing paper called The Express, a paper that I generally ignore. But if you look at the statistics they're showing in their own poll, that 69% want a second referendum on Brexit. And let's face it, that 69% are probably going to say they want to rejoin. Are Brexiteers starting to panic? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section. In a very interesting twist on the thing that is normally used as a nationalist propaganda tool, the proms, it was used by the EU group, the EU flag mafia, to promote the EU, but also the disdain they have for Brexit. And all they did, they turned up outside the proms, they danced, they celebrated the EU in all its greatness, and then they proceeded just to hand out free flags. And of course, this completely and utterly triggered the right wing. I couldn't bear it. Uh, my partner had to leave the room. I was rather like you, I had to leave the room. All because some flags were being displayed during the proms. And yet, the most interesting ones to get really triggered were Mike and I don't know who the other bloke is, Penfold, we'll call him. They went on a bit of a rant and they even insulted a British cultural institution. And guess what? Lovingly filmed by the Brussels Broadcasting Corporation, otherwise known as the BBC. Yes. Uh, this special night turned into a festival of nauseating EU worship mm. with a bunch of idiots with EU flags. Well, apparently they were giving yeah. them all out. I um, mean, it, it, you know, giving them out as well. I mean, what, what, what's that about? I don't know. Maybe it could be that people are really, really hacked off with Brexit and all the lies. And again, another poll, this time from YouGov, saying that 51% of Britons would vote to rejoin, compared to 32% who would vote to stay out, giving a headline voting figure of 61 to 39. And as I keep saying, those are the same sort of figures that ended the Vietnam War. Well, because apparently the people who go to last night at the proms are all Remainers. I find it absolutely fascinating that they can't see the writing on the wall, that they have to come up with some other ludicrous explanation People go to this because they love hearing the music and it's a little bit nationalistic. I'd even go so far to say, and this is quite an interesting one, the people waving those EU flags probably love Britain a bit more than the ones that don't. What they love to do is hate other countries. So they insulted one British cultural institution and now they're going to go for two. I think we've got some video of what was going on outside Have the we? Royal Albert Hall. Blimey, uh, doing well uh, here. Three out of three EU, today. EU, EU uh, Morris dancing this. Yeah. Let's have a look at this. Yeah. yeah. What's happened to my life? Yeah. I'm dancing around like a Morris dancing idiot. So they love Britain and Englishness, and they've just slagged off one of the oldest cultural institutions in Britain, which dates back to about the 1400s, but actually probably has its origins in pagan history, so probably before even the Romans. And yet, they have slagged them off. It is incredible to watch the stupidity of the right-wing media when it comes to flag-shagging, flag-using, supporting the EU, but also their ability to be ironic, stupid, and insulting to themselves. If you think I'm wrong about the stupidity level as well, 
Just have a listen to this. People in Europe don't care about the European Union. Polling suggests that support for the EU within member states is at record levels, with strong majorities approving of the EU's handling of Ukraine and little appetite for leaving the bloc. They happen to live in Europe. They live in France or Spain or Italy yeah. or whatever it is, yeah. but they don't actually give a monkeys yeah. about the EU. You don't yeah. see them prancing about waving flags around. Exactly. If they wave any flags in France, it's the French flag. Except you'll see the European flag in the background with almost every image of Macron or you might see it with the right-wing leader Meloni or the right-wing really racist leader Viktor Orban. If they wave a flag in Spain it's the Spanish flag they don't wave the EU flag. Yeah, no. oh. They don't wave the EU flag. Yeah. And of course, the silly comments didn't end there. By the way, guys, you're never getting back in. Despite all the information I've shown you this afternoon and all the polls, including from the Express, a right-wing newspaper, Penfold still doesn't think we're getting back in. And let me be clear, this has got to be done in two stages. The first, we've got to decide that we want to go back in. And the second, we've got to ask. Personally, I think these guys are starting to panic and they're seeing that there is an outpouring of love and want for rejoining the EU. Once again, thank you to all my Patreon and YouTube supporters. You guys are awesome. Once again, if you got this far, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Put your comments and thoughts into the comments section. Thanks for listening and bye for now.